Hi friends, welcome back to Simply Our Home. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. I'm super excited. Today I'll be sharing my tips and tricks and design rules that I like to follow when decorating my home. Now here on my channel, if you are new, you're going to see tons of decorating. It is my true passion and I change it up pretty frequently for all the seasons and holidays. My style here has farmhouse touches, a little cottagey and traditional elements thrown in there as well. Now I also love to share everything home, so that includes cleaning motivation and organization, and I love to encourage you all through God's Word, through daily Bible verses. Me and my husband also love DIY home projects, so we'll definitely be sharing those as well. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It's super easy. You can meet me back here next time to see what we're up to. Now, if you're returning, I just want to say thank you so much for your support. I love each and every one of you and connecting with you down in the comments. So definitely let me know how your day is going. So I thought this video would be extra special when you're doing your home DIY projects that you can save it and always return back to it. Let me know down in the comments if these tips and tricks are helpful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. This first decor tip is one of my favorites and one that I use constantly. I'm always buying pillow covers. And what the trick is, you don't actually match up the sizes of your pillow covers and your inserts. Instead, you'll take an insert that is actually bigger than your pillow cover. So in this case, I'm taking a 18 by 18 pillow and inserting that into a 16 by 16 pillow cover and that makes your pillows just so much more full and lush and I love this and that is my first design trick for you. This next design tip is more of a design rule for hanging mirrors and artwork. Now, there's no absolutes in design, but a good rule of thumb that I like to use when hanging these is to go with eye level. And that's typically 57 to 62 inches. So I just like to simplify it and go with 60 inches. And remember, this measurement is from the floor up and should hit at the center of the mirror or the art piece, not the top of it. Also, when you're hanging these, make sure you have 6 to 12 inches of space between them and the furniture that is placed underneath. So in our case, as you see here, I left about 10 inches of space between the mirror and the dresser. Likewise, hanging artwork above the bed should have about 6 to 10 inches of visual wall space between it and the headboard. When you're selecting art, remember the scale of the piece. You definitely don't want something too small or too large where it's going to look totally out of place, but rather try to fill three-fourths the width of your furniture. So, for example, my daughter's bed is approximately 60 inches and it's a queen. So, for the artwork above, I chose a piece that's 36 to 48 inches wide. You can definitely hang smaller pieces, but maybe combine them into a grouping, making sure that the whole composition fits this three-fourths rule so that you have a designer-looking arrangement every time. The next decor tip that I have for you is to decorate using the rule of threes. And basically what this means is the objects grouped in threes tend to look more pleasing to the eye. So as you see here, I used that rule of threes for grounding the table arrangement. And here are a few more examples of using this rule. You can also create odd number arrangements like using one, five, seven, or nine, and that's exactly what I did on our mantle as well as for our tablescape in our kitchen. Using this simple rule keeps decorating super easy. 
The next tip that I have for you deals with curtains. When you purchase new curtains, they're often creased and a hassle to have to iron and wash and let dry. Well, the tip that I have for you is super simple. All you do is take a towel or washcloth, run it under some water, and you can also add just a little bit of liquid fabric softener to just give it that fresh smell. And then you can throw that all into your dryer on a medium heat for approximately 15 20 minutes and you're going to have some wrinkle free curtains without any hassle at all another designer tip for making your ceilings look taller as well as to make your windows look wider is to add curtains the pro trick is to hang them high and wide I like to install our curtain rods approximately two to three inches down from the ceiling. This accentuates the height of the room and helps to draw the eye up and creates the illusion of taller ceiling. Now to create a wider looking window, use this simple trick. Aim to hang the curtain rod bracket about six to eight inches beyond the window frame. This way when your curtains are open, there's no light that is blocked and they just kiss the outside edge of the window frame, making them look wider. Now, I love my curtains to puddle only a couple of inches for a more luxurious look. And sometimes I can get away with this by adding curtain hooks to get the extra length. This allows me to purchase the shorter length panel, which also means a cheaper price. So definitely remember this tip the next time when you're buying new panels. This next tip I wanna share with you deals with lighting. As we've been replacing our lighting fixtures to fit our more farmhouse style, we've also changed out all the light bulbs to a 4000K white light. This simple change makes a dramatic effect. It brightens and freshens the look of our space. As you can see in this side-by-side, -side, what a difference it makes. So definitely give this a try to update the look of your home. The next designer tip and trick for you for hanging floating shelves or a cabinet above your toilet is to measure up two feet from the bottom of your tank to install the bottom of your cabinet or your lowest floating shelf. Now, I know floating shelves are super popular and that's exactly what I wanted to do for our bathroom makeover. So I'm just installing that around two feet above or about 54 inches from the floor. Then the distance between your floating shelves can be anywhere from 12 to 15 inches. And I went ahead and picked 13. And I think this measurement is perfect for just displaying any type of bathroom decor you would like to display. The last decor tip and trick I'd like to share with you today involves the placement of furniture in a room and on area rugs. To create a more designer look and feel to a room, try bringing your furniture out from the walls to allow space. Pulling the furniture away from the walls will make conversation areas more intimate and create a better sense of balance. Even in a small room, you can give furnishings some space. Try different arrangements and angles of your furniture like I did in our room to give the space better function and flow. When using an area rug, there are all sorts of so-called rules, but the one that I'll be addressing today is the placement of furniture on it. I suggest tucking the rug at least 10 to 18 inches under the largest piece of furniture. Then allow at least 30 to 36 inches of walkway between the furniture pieces. Okay friends, well that does it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my tips and tricks and the rules that I use for decorating my home. You'll definitely have to let me know which was your favorite and one that you maybe haven't heard before and want to try out. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up before you click out and also share it with somebody you know that really helps me out. If you are new, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. Thanks again for watching and spending your day with me. I hope to see you next time. Have a blessed day. Bye friends.